Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Brave Steva Polish Batting Practice and Maniology BMS 235. I started off with IMK's PLEs and look at this. This is Batting Practice from Brave Steva Polish. Such a yummy looking polish. So I'm going to cap my free edge first and I will just go ahead and tell you this one starts off very sheer but it builds up real nice. So here we go. We're going to get into that first coat. And as you can see, it is very sheared, like I said, but it's already telling me how pretty it's going to be. It's like a beautiful watermelon shade with shimmer that goes on for days. This is my kind of shade right here. I'm loving it. So we got our first coat down and now we're going to go in with a second coat. And the thing about this polish is that look how easy it's going on. It's got a great formula. I love it because I didn't have any pooling or dripping or anything. But I am going to go in for the third coat. I might could have got away with two, but I do kind of thin coats, so I was okay with doing three on this one, especially since the formula was fantastic. So I'm going to cap this end again because I've got kind of a little blob, but that's user error. Nothing wrong with the polish. Now I'm going to top it with Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls and seal it in. Get it to dry down so we can play, do some stamping today. Had to reload my brush, sorry. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to cap that free edge again. Ta-da! Love, love, love it. So pretty. So today I'm going to use that Burt's Bees around my cuticles to help with cleanup. And I'll be demonstrating this BMS 235 plate from Maniology. If you use my discount code, you get 10% off your order. It's Moon Baby Nails. If I can get this blue film off of here, we're going to get busy. I am going to clean the plate with some acetone and then wipe it with a paper towel. It's just how I like to do new plates. I'll be stamping with Nicole Diary NSO3 using my Beauty Scraper and my Maniology Stamper. And I'm just going to go in with this beautiful little um, swirly twirly design. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've used one. so. And I'm just going to plop this on all of my nails. The original plan was to also use some stickers, but the stickers I had ended up not showing up over this manicure, so I just left it at the stamping. There we go. I'm cleaning that stamper off on my lint roller. And even though I've used the Burt's Bees and a little bit of it gets on the stamper, the leftover residue is coming off on, the st on that lint roller as well. I'm not having any issues with this one. Picking up that image and plopping it on. I love full size images like this because you don't have to worry so much about precise or exact placement. It just, you know, they all look the same. They might not be identical, but they've got the same image. So there we go. And now for some easy, super duper easy cleanup here with the piece of tape. I am loving that Burt's Bees cuticle cream. But I am going to go in just with a little bit of nail, well, I say nail polish remover, acetone, and my cleanup brush, and just do just a tiny bit of tidying up here. Now I'm going to top it with some of the Posh Top Coat. I love this one. It was just spot on for me for that day. I was really excited and very happy with it when I was finished. I was like, yes, 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 I love it. Capping my free edge again. And here comes my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.